Thanks for participating in this book discussion of heroic living. I'm interested in participating myself and hearing what observations and thoughts uh, folks have uh, to share with each other and with me about the book. Um, just as a little bit of introduction, um, this book is a follow-up to Heroic Leadership. The publisher wanted to make sure everybody understood it was a follow-up, so they gave it a pretty obvious name, Heroic Living. Can you tell it's a follow-up? Um, and Heroic Leadership, the um, uh, idea behind that book was to try and think about what does leadership mean and what does it mean to lead well. And that book uh, took examples from early Jesuit history to illustrate some leadership ideas. And um, this book, uh, the follow-up, in a way uh, sort of answers the, the question, well, okay, so now what do I do? You know, to lead well in my own life, uh, what practical steps do I take, and, and so on. And I think that leading well is an issue for everyone. Uh, it's not just a business thing, it's not just something for Barack Obama. Uh, if you look in the dictionary, one of the definitions of leadership is to point out a way, a direction, or a goal, and to influence other people toward it. And isn't it true that everybody is doing those words? You know, you're at work, you're pointing out a way by virtue of how you use your time, uh, how diligently you work, are you honest, who do you hire, how do you run meetings, all those kind of things. Um, I'm sure a lot of people participating in this uh, discussion group uh, are parents. Could there be any more obvious example of pointing out a way and influencing others than what parents do for children over a lifetime? So we're all leading and the question for us is not whether or not I have a leadership opportunity or responsibility, it's how I'm going to live that in my life. So with that background, the, um, the second book, uh, Heroic Living, kind of tries to lay out uh, a strategy, so to speak, for leading and it's a three-part strategy and um, it starts with the very big picture, you know, why you're here, what do you want to accomplish, and it goes to the very small picture, uh, namely, how do I get more effective today? And you know, a lot of people would wonder, well, why, you know, why do I need a strategy? We've been, new human beings have been living for 2,000 uh, years uh, in the, in the, uh, since the birth of Christ, and for 30, 40,000 years without strategies for living. Uh, so why is that relevant? And the, the first part of, the, of heroic living kind of takes on that issue, and in a way, um, the argument, the case is this, that if you compare your life to your grandfather's or grandmother's life, uh, we're coping with vastly more change, much more complexity, we all have to make many more decisions, uh, and these are environments in which we can't really improvise through life anymore. You know, think about your grandparents. Uh, for many of these folks, uh, they didn't nearly have uh, the array of uh, career choices that we have. Many of them took one job and did that for life. They anticipated they were going to be in one job for a career. Uh, nowadays, we know that uh, on average, um, students uh, who graduate college now, on average, will have ten, as many as 10 jobs by the time they're 35. Um, we all, uh, many of our grandparents grew up in more uh, culturally homogenous uh, areas. You know, we kind of knew people who were perhaps of our ethnic or religious tradition, and they were kind of a taken for granted set of cultural values often. Now, uh, we live in much more uh, heterogeneous environments, and that's a beautiful and wonderful thing, but it also brings with it a lot of challenges because we have to um, come to grips with the fact that other people have very different ideas about how to do business, how to live, how to behave oneself, and we have to make decisions for ourselves uh, about these things. So. Um, the, the, the chapters in the first part of the book, in a way, lay out uh, the case for why we need a strategy for leading well, uh, based on the idea that we can no longer improvise. Too much change, too much complexity, lots of decisions we all have to make, and so on. And I hope you enjoy the first chapters.